Yo, what's up, what's up? You know the usual, you know the usual city guys, you know what I'm saying? And shit, and shit. Alright, today I'm gonna go over the simplicity of, you know what I'm saying, making your dance off you sound good with just like a few sounds. Simplest, you know what I'm saying? Simplest. As simple as y'all can get it, you know what I'm saying? And still make it a banger, you know what I'm saying? Because what I got here, y'all know it's a banger. Every beat I put up, you know, it's a banger, so. You know what I'm saying? Shit be a banger. So I'm gonna let y'all hear this, you know what I'm saying? And y'all can judge for yourself if this shit be a banger. Then I'm going to go over the breakdown of how I come up with the sounds, how I, you know what I'm saying, create this and that and the drum patterns, stuff like that. And then I'm going to mix it, master it, and then, you know, organize it. And y'all can see my whole process of how I do my thing. You know what I'm saying? Because this shit be a banger. So let's go. <laughs> That's a banger right there. Even my ears bleeding. That's a banger. Now, first thing first, I'm going to go on my D-sharp minor scale right here. You know what I'm saying? This is the D-sharp minor scale that I got here. What I did, I click on the stamp icon. Click on minor natural alien. You know what I'm saying? And put that shit on D-sharp. And then just fill it out. Like, you can always do that as reference and just follow off of it. A lot of people would probably be like, oh... That ain't professional, he ain't no pro, he's this and that. But at the end of the day, FL Studio has all the tools, has everything on uh, on the inside of it, uh, it's on the inside of its interface where you can use to create magic. It's all up to you to create, you know what I'm saying? Bring your creati creativity to the table, you know what I'm saying? Right off your brain tip to your fingertips, you feel me? Now, this is my piano melody right here. You know what I'm saying? I started off with triads just like this right here. And I copied my bass notes right here and just put them down like this right here. You know what I'm saying? Let me just do that right. You know what I'm saying? And I just highlighted the two top notes and just bring it up like that. And it be like this. You know what I'm saying? And then you can just, while listening to it, you can just add notes on top. Because, you know what I'm saying? The melody notes on top is based off of your chord progression. You know what I'm saying? You can just add that. Because, you know, D sharp is right here. You know what I'm saying? And that's a part of the scale. Feel me? Like, you can just fill your notes in and just follow off of the chord progression and you can't go wrong. That's the simplest way I can tell you. Like, like just follow off of your chord progression. You can't go wrong. If you're not good at pianos, just mess around with pluck melodies until... You know what I'm saying? You can get to the whole piano section. Because I did not use any plug to create this. I just go to straight piano. You know what I'm saying? I just got that piano off of Nexus. You know what I'm saying? As usual. Feel me? And then I got my snare right here. Not sharp as yet, but when I'm going through the whole mixing. You'll see that sharp vibe. You know what I'm saying? The strings. I got this string out of x -Band. It's an ARP, you know what I'm saying? ARP is one of the ways you can, you know what I'm saying? Like, it can make your beats simple, take less time, and you complete a beat real fast, you know what I'm saying? Once you have an ARP, you're not going to really add any other sounds that much to it because it's going to be too crowded. Because I have the ARP along with the distorted guitar lead that I got from x as well. <laughs> I'm saying I realized that okay those sounds are all right but I don't want to add anything too crowded in too much so I just pull up with a guitar plug right here and then I roll with the strings and I just add everything like this you know what I'm saying and that's just it right there feel me and if you add everything together like you know what I'm saying you hear the guitar plug and I got this guitar plug out of uh what's this it's purity it's called Clean Mute, you know what I'm saying? It's a guitar plug, you know what I'm saying? And it, the rest of the sounds is just pretty much the drum patterns and percussions and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You can just listen to your 
chord progression and know how to place your kicks. I don't know if it's because of me where you know, I'm listening to a sound and I just say, okay, that's like a bouncy vibe. I just go with the flow and like first thing first you want to do when you have your melody playing, just let that melody play and just add one kick, right? Just add one kick and then add one right here, one right here, one right here and just let it flow and just listen to it and then you place another one somewhere else and you get your bounce. Like that's the simplest way, you know what I'm saying? And then you continue and add your other sounds to it and you, you get your banger. Saying that's a banger right there. I'm saying now I'm gonna go through the whole mixing process because no beats are the simple. I ain't gonna add too much to it. I, I'm not even gonna add a snare roll to it. I'm probably not. I don't know. Mm. I'll probably add a snare roll. I may not, but I'm saying it's cool. But you know what I'm saying I'm just gonna go over the whole. Mixing like right here, like the piano. Yeah, you don't want to have too much of that bassy feel in the piano. You not want to take too much out. You know, what I'm saying you lower your volume a little bit. And the snare, you know what I'm saying? You gotta keep that sharp. I push it up, the number six band up a little bit on the midsection, and number seven, I just, you know what I'm saying, cut it down. Because you know, snares normally play, like the snares and the claps normally play in this region here from the midsection to down here, see what I'm saying? Get that nice sharp feeling out of it. I'm saying lower your sound a little bit. Then I have the string, gotta slow it down a little bit. Put up parametric EQ, high pass, cut that out a little bit. Don't want too much. Add a little reverb. You know what I'm saying? Cause you're gonna wanna give spaces to your sounds to like play, you know what I'm saying? So you're gonna wanna cut sounds out, cut a little, you know what I'm saying? You wanna cut unwanted frequencies out. You know what I'm saying? Guitar is good right there, then my kick, I'ma lower my kick. Then my hi-hats, you know, my hi-hats, I just drop the number seven band down, push the number six one up on high mid, add a little reverb, lower that down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And that's just mostly it, like, simplest way to mix your beats off, so... Then I have my 808 slamming. As usual, I'm just going to copy the value, go and kick, add peak controller, paste it, paste the 808 value here, drop the volume up right here, tension, and I just adjust that, then I'll go back to my 808, link the controller, peak controller. <laughs> I'm saying then I have my guitar plucked. Now, I'm not really gonna probably take much out of the 808. Like, ain't nothing much to take out of that, to be honest. Like, once you put up your 808 and you adjust, like, as you see that I did right here, you mess around with the knobs a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You can even mess around with the ending. You know what I'm saying? Like that. I'm saying that you're good, so you don't really have to do too much on the EQ inside of the 808. Now for the guitar plug. I'm not gonna add any reverb to it, anything at all. It sounds good like that, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. 
know what I'm saying? Open house. This sound, it's all good. That's just basically it right there. You don't have much sounds and like, you just have the arp. Once you have an arp like this, and whatever chord progression you have, you just copy it, paste it. And as you can see, it's the same chord progression that I have for the piano without the counter melodies and all that. And then you have your arp, the lead. Like, dance all beats are just mostly like chord progressions, like, I'm saying chord progression, melodies, um, a counter melody, a lead, something for the chorus, and just basically that. You just gotta have like different sounds, different parts, and just basically that, and then comes the other part with good mixing. So you have, that's where you're gonna have to have good sound selection, where you have good sounds, so you don't have a lot to do when it comes to mixing. As you can see, my sounds that I choose are already sounding good and already slamming. I'm saying banger. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't have to be doing too much in the mixing section because, you know, this shit already be a banger. So, all I got to do, I just pull up, you know what I'm saying? Go to my master channel, get a parametric EQ, you know what I'm saying? I'm not an engineer, so I'm not going to do too much. You know what I'm saying? Pull out a number seven band, number one band right here. Like, I think that's, pro that's one of the problems with a lot of people that be making beats. Like, you're not an engineer, that's... Don't stress yourself on trying to make the shit perfect, trying to do all this and that and, you know what I'm saying, all that and, nah, like, that don't make no sense. Like, you don't need to do all that. You're not the engineer. You know what I'm saying? Just keep your stuff simple. You know what I'm saying? Mix it and manage it to the point where the artist can go on and vibe and spaces there and stuff like that. <laughs> Basically, that's just it. Simplest way, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the simplicity of 2021 modern style dance hall beat. Like, that's the modern style. Like, 2021, yo, like, ain't nobody sitting down trying to make shit complicated. Ain't nobody had time for that. You know what I'm saying? So, basically, that's just it right there. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go over the whole organizing section in a few. Now, now we're going to go to the whole organizing section. So I click right here. You know I'm saying split by channel. And then as you can see, it's not much sounds like, like this is a, like, this is a, like, so, like, small, I don't even know what to say. Like the smallest amount of sounds, I don't even, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just highlight everything, copy that. I don't really do too much. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't engineer, so I ain't be doing too much. Now, for my intro. Now I'm going to have these two. Probably just have that there. Cut that out. 808 slamming there. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta know the sounds that you wanna have in your intro. I can't tell you how you want it. Like the best way, I'm gonna tell you like, you have to choose, like is, there's no rules to it on a secret to how you organize your beats. You just have to know which sound you want in the chorus. You know what I'm saying? 
which sound you want to stand out to say, okay, this is the chorus, and this sound you want to say, okay, that part's the verse or the, the bridge or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, for my intro, I just like having it like, like this, you know what I'm saying? clips to it but I'm gonna show you that in a few after I finish with all this right here section you know I'm gonna have like a specific sound that always gonna be repetitive right through the whole instrumental and the vibe won't be broken you know what I'm saying because the lead right here is for the chorus the strings and the piano that can play right through and the pluck I take it out there same way you know
that's just it. I ain't even gonna put like no transition like that in it because I don't feel transition type of vibe with this right now. I just feel like I'll just pull up like with an automation clip, you know what I'm saying, and just give it that ambient type of vibe, you know, like type of vibe, I guess. But I don't even know how to make that sound, but I'm gonna add it to it. And then you see what I'm talking about. into it because sometimes it spoils the whole instrumental but you know what I'm saying because we're here though I might just add it again right here and then I just click right here bam like that you know because with beats like this you gotta yeah <laughs> saying as simple as that and then back there I just have that little part right there maybe you know I'm saying and then I just pull up with this right here create another automation clip but with the entire value I gave it my colors on my stuff. You know what I'm saying? So with this right here, copy that. And put it right there. And that's it. Ain't nothing much to it. I just add my stuff to it, my beat tag, you know what I'm saying? Spice it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Purchase your tracks today. Purchase your tracks today.
that's just it. Like the simplest way. Like this is the simplicity of dancehall. Like this is the simplest way you can make your beat fire. You know what I'm saying? Like this is very simple, very easy. I can try this method too. I mean, like after you finish, you like you're probably not too crazy about snare rolls because not every beat that you make has to or have to have like a snare roll or some other type of roll in the ending or to signify some whatever. Like you can use automation clips, you can use transition. Like not all the time I want to use snare roll. And to be honest, while I listened to this, I did not feel a snare roll type of vibe. I did not feel a transition type of vibe. I just let the automation clip give me that type of vibe. Because if you listen right here, it sounds like there's like a transition type of vibe. You know what I'm saying? And I'm all right. Like, I'm all right with that. I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? And I know this should be banging. This is a fire. So I know if artists listen to this, yeah, it's a banger. So thanks for tuning in to this tutorial. You know what I'm saying? About simplicity with dancehall beats. So thanks for tuning in. Peace out.